So what is this? Yeah, this is obviously a tablet. Looks like a normal tablet, of course. Yeah. However, what we did, uh, based on the, this kind of tablet or, or even this kind of tablet, is to add augmented reality to mix augmented reality with immersive virtual reality together. So it's well, maybe one of the first ones to merge all these together with different kind of type of software and application running on the Android, Java, using also Flash, OpenGL, and, and other type of, uh, of software to, to have different type of experiences. So what we're doing is to start uh, um, with, uh, with Layer Vision, Layer Vision which is uh, helping us in fact to, to, to recognize object uh, in order to, uh, to, to get object recognized from this rec uh, recognition. Instead of adding uh, information, uh, what we are doing differently is to, is to uh, launch a specific application. So the, the application can be launched uh, depending on the, on the context as well. For instance, if you want to see what is in this, this there, right, uh, in our server tablet, what's in, in there, look what is inside. So it's trying to, to search from the server, but the Wi-Fi connectivity is, I would say, not that good. And it can recognize it, right? It can recognize which kind of application we, we want to launch, and we can see what is in there. So in there, it's the full tablet, right? Uh, um, this 53 tablet, which can in fact be visited in 360 degrees. It can be it can be running really fast, okay? And we can add a lot of information. The only layer that we're not added is we can click on each one to see which sensor are you are using, for instance, for the accelerometer, or magnetometer, or uh, even our 53 uh, application layers as well. Okay. But this, we have the choice between two of them, of course. The uh, the um, other one is exactly the same, but we are using our sensor for for, for navigation. Okay. So it means that we can navigate really like a, like a 360 degrees, like a, like a plane there. So this is really to add content, valuation of a content, that's the key one. On top of yes. Yes. Immersive uh, virtual layers are launched through augmented reality, so we're really mixing both of them. We're trying to take the best of both of them in this. Right? So when is it uh, going to be all the expectation that this application is something we can launch already, right? Right now, it's just in the basic APK on the on the on the. It can run on the basic tablet. This one is a tablet which is using our, our single core, uh, 800 megahertz, so really fast again. It's fully accelerated on the GPUs, uh, so you you, uh, you don't need to have, uh, we say, a lot of I would say powerful type of processor just to launch all this kind of uh, application. So this is an APK we can already put on the market since Layer Vision exists already, our application exists already, it's more a showcase of what it's possible to do on augmented reality and an immersive, uh, immersive virtual reality as well. Another application I uh, just want to show you here, it can be also launched uh, through, uh, through, this, uh, through this layer, right? Uh, and exactly the same way that we can recognize a specific type of, uh, of, of images, then there we are visiting an um, immersive with a um, showroom, right? So this is a, this is a showroom, free scale showroom, virtual showroom here. And we can look at, by, by flipping, we can really enter in specific rooms, right? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit slow because it's using flash, but we are going to improve it with, uh, by using different type of, uh, of, uh, uh, of software like OpenGL. And it can really show, we say, different poster that you can, right, look here, like this. You can flip a tablet quickly to visit, yeah, to visit different kind of, uh, of, uh, of posters. So we are in a fully, I would say, uh, virtual environment. It's 360 degrees. Okay. Here. It's really 360 degrees. We can visit it, flip it again. Go back to some of the rooms, 
And why are we are doing this? Why is really because we want to show that content can have much more value if we put some kind of great virtual showroom on top of that, right? A virtual uh, layers on top of that. So adding the context awareness where you are with a specific image, uh, which is triggering specific application, and from there uh, we might maybe even remove all of this and replace by virtual type of, uh, of of content on top of that. Where do you generate all the virtual content? Do you use some apps or? Yeah, we're using apps, and that's today one of the issues there. It's not easy to create, uh, I would say, 360 content, 360 degrees content like this. It's not something easy. But you're going to make it easier? We are going to make it easier in terms of uh, application uh, yeah. on our uh, software development kit. We are working with uh, also other partners to make this easier. However, we still have a last layer, which is the graphics, uh, which still need to be to be improved in terms of uh, uh, how easy it, it is to have a 360 degrees uh, immersive variety where. Right. Nice. So that's that's something uh, other people need really to uh, to work on to make this fix happening there. So what I want to show is this exists already. We have a technology to make it happen. Right. Uh, in terms of hardware, we have sensors, helping uh, uh, intuitive navigation that is possible to um, to use. Right. From all all these different type of of. Uh, uh, Immersive, uh, immersive views is something that can be very exciting for people to discover content. Interactivity is very important. Intuitive interface as well is key as well uh, to do that. By by showing this, we show that uh, AutoTimex processor are key in all these kind of elements, and the sensors in terms of user interface, positioning, uh, and moving is the other key element to fusion together uh, in order to have uh, to have uh, this kind of uh, virtual showroom happening. In one sense.